Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Creative Minecrafting. For today's episode, I wanted to take a look at some creative flooring design ideas. Uh, I'm flying above this area right here. I've got a bunch of things that I came up with. Uh, so let's go down and take a closer look. What I've focused on here is mostly using items that you might not have otherwise thought of when making a, a flooring for your castle, your house, or whatever. Uh, I know um, many uh, many people, including myself, usually when they're building a house, they think, okay, I'll just put a stone floor down here or a wood floor. Um, but sometimes it can be fun to think outside the box and, and, and use some blocks that might not uh, otherwise be thought of to be used as flooring. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, at some of these. This you may have seen before. These are all crafting tables. Again, this is the Sortex Fan for Texture Pack I'm using. So uh, things might look differently in the texture pack you're using. But the tops of these crafting tables, I think, make a really nice flooring design. Again, this is something you may have seen before. Uh, over here, these are all cauldrons filled with water. And I think these are really cool because it gives you a nice shimmering effect. It's kind of fancy looking, but not too expensive for that effect. Uh, one drawback is if you stand over one of these long enough, you will, let me see if I can do that, you will fall into a cauldron. Uh, can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, almost did. But you can fall in. There we go. Uh, it's not a big deal though if, if you don't mind that because pretty much you're going to be just walking over these. So it looks really cool. Uh, and I actually placed glowstone underneath these so you, the light shines through the cauldrons. I'll show you that later. I'm going to turn the lights out uh, to show you some lighting effects from some of these later. Uh, speaking of glowstone, this is just a layer of glowstone covered with a layer of glass blocks. It's a nice kind of a fancy texture. I think most of these are if you're looking for either a modern build or something a little fancier. Uh, than your typical stone floor or wood floor. This here is uh, a layer of water, or sorry, layer of glowstone with water on top and then a layer of glass blocks. So similar to this one just with a, a layer of water thrown in uh, adds a little bit more of a bluer texture um, but still lets some light through. What we have over here is, these are all note blocks. Uh, the checkered ones are the note block tops and I've done two versions of this. Over here we've got note block with uh, that is the brown stained hardened clay. I think those look nice together and this is a riskier option over here and a little more expensive. These are note blocks with T and T blocks so proceed with caution when using this one obviously. If you're using this on a multiplayer server uh, it might be a little bit more of a risky move if someone wants to come grief your house. All they got to do is, is light one of these TNTs and there goes your floor. But if you're on a single player server or a multiplayer server where uh, you trust the people you're playing with, this is a good option. I swear it rains so often on this world for some reason. Here is another one uh, with uh, these are black wool and red wool with train tracks on top. I just place them in a square and they all connect together to make circles. I think this would look really cool in more of a medieval build, especially if you've got a big grand room. Uh, it's kind of a unique use of the train tracks as decoration. I like the way that they kind of make a star pattern with the metal and the wood and again I think this fits more of a medieval build but hopefully that gives you some ideas there. This is probably the most expensive option. These are all beacons, just one layer of beacons. And this obviously is probably something you'd be more inclined to use in creative mode because they're so expensive. But if you're building in creative mode and you want a really modern, uh, really fancy room, you can use these uh, either in this pattern or um, have just them going along the border of your room instead of just having a full floor of them. It's kind of cool though, and uh, another option for adding lighting to your room. These are melon blocks, and this is kind of, this is a little more on the unique side, but what I like about this, at least in this texture pack, is that it kind of looks like uh, a leather pillow flooring, in a way, with buttons in the centers. So if you're going for something a little quirky, or you want, you know, uh, 
more of a padded pillow type flooring this is kind of cool it's a nice option and uh, again I was trying to come up with things using blocks that you normally wouldn't think to use for flooring and over here I have ice blocks alternating on this side with I believe these are oak leaves and what I like about this is you can see through the ice a little bit and see some of the leaf texture and over here this is uh, ice blocks with the cyan wool I think yeah the cyan wool blocks um, one drawback with this is you slow down walking on ice a little bit but not very much and it's a really cool design I like the way that it's transparent uh, but not fully transparent it's just uh, and adds a, a nice little blue hue to it one last one real quick this these are trap doors you can see glowstone underneath and I think this would work well uh, not necessarily at this small of a scale but if you've got a nice big room you could uh, have this as the border of your room and have lighting covered lighting it, it looks kinda cool with the glowstone down there coming through and having the open trap door effect as, as a border uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the time to close things out here so you can see some of the lighting effects you can see that this lights up a room by having it buried down there and the beacon of course is a source of light so it has a nice glowing uh, it's always nice I think anytime I can use lighting in some other form than just torches or glowstone hanging on the walls there's another option a couple more lighting options and as I mentioned earlier I placed glowstone under these cauldrons and I, I don't know if these are considered entities but uh, for that reason or some other reason glowstone actually shines through them so you don't see the, the source of light but it still can light a room which I think is an, a cool option so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video you may have seen some of these ideas before and I hope you like them or I hope they inspire some ideas of your own and uh, help you to think outside the normal boundaries of what you would consider using as a flooring so this is just a quick one uh, thanks again everyone for your likes, subscribes, and comments. Please keep them coming. Let me know uh, what you like and that you are enjoying this series and I'll keep making more. Thanks again everyone and I'll see you on the next Creative Minecrafting.